fifth major health issue, obesity is now considered a chronic disease. It's big news today as the American Medical Association voted to change the classification. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin has the latest on this controversial issue. You know, the new classification, although not law, could change the way you're treated by your health insurance company. And no stranger to obesity myself, we talk with people about the possibility of paying higher insurance rates. You might want to hold off on the cheeseburger or all that cheese sauce, especially if you're considered obese. The decision by the American Medical Association now classifies obesity as a disease rather than a major health problem. No, I don't agree with it being a disease. It's something you got to control throughout your entire life. That's actually a process that's been in the making for a long time. Time. Dr. Eileen Seeholzer of Metro Health says having it classified as a disease will help advocate for obesity to be addressed by both the health insurance company and people considered overweight. We'll encourage people to get obesity treatment or to make changes in their life that treat the obesity earlier before they get sick. Currently the diagnosis of obesity is not reimbursed by most insurance companies, which means most people have to become sick before they're covered. People we spoke with said they support insurance companies who may raise rates for this disease. It causes a lot more medical concerns. Actually, it does increase the cost to the insurance company. We should try to be healthier and I'm trying to be healthier now. It has no force of law, but it doesn't mean nothing. Civil rights attorney Avery Friedman thinks the diagnosis may open a floodgate of lawsuits by lawyers who will be saying things like, This is what the doctors think. This is what they feel. And therefore, there should be a legal remedy available to someone who is facing obesity. Now, this rule does not come out of the blue. A number of organizations in the medical community have been advocating for this change. We're on your side. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5. I posted this story on my Facebook page and received some very interesting comments tonight. Ernest says this gives lazy people an excuse. ISIS says obesity is a condition, but I don't think it is a disease, but it can lead to other diseases. And Dwayne's post reads, they declared it a disease so the greedy, money-hungry, corrupt FDA and the multi-billion dollar pill-pushing pharmaceutical companies can now make more money from prescriptions. And last but not least, Connie adds, if alcoholism can be considered a disease, why not obesity?